Hi everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, today we're talking about why women are so superficial and why men are so self-absorbed. I was thinking, well, about a few months ago now, um, about something and I found it quite interesting. And it was about the differences in how each gender, particularly in the westernized, capitalized, materialistic world, how each gender is conditioned differently um, in complete opposite ways. So let's start with the male, shall we? So, you know, in general, a guy is raised so that one day he can be a provider for a family, you know. So from the day he's born upwards, is, he's taught about internal values that he will need in order to get by and values and strengths that he can draw upon so he can build this future, so he can cater to this future. So he's taught about discipline, he's taught about you know courage and perseverance and taking risks and daring. Uh, he's, you know, sometimes, if he's fortunate enough, he'll be taught about fairness and learning how to negotiate with people so that he can better prosper in the business world and just better network. You know, he's taught all these internal values and attributes and strengths and skills that he will be able to use to thrive when he is a man etching his destiny, right? And looking at how a woman is, is raised, generally speaking, and how she's conditioned to develop, it's more, instead of it being about drawing upon internal values and developing all these various attributes that later on you can use to to you know, attain the future you desire, it's the opposite. It's more about developing yourself from the outside in. So it's not so much being taught about strength and perseverance and dedication and discipline and fairness and all of these things, because that's, that's the man's, you know, that's what the man's weighed up on. But it's more so about, you know, the outside, how you look, how appealing you are, how attractive you are, how you adorn yourself as an object so that you can be the apple of someone's eye one day. It's about learning the right ways to move and to pleasure and satisfy your partner. It's learning the, the right tricks to lure in a man and all the different ways to sustain his interests. And it's all from a very superficial outside perspective, outside looking in. The opposite to the guy, which is values developed internally that he can draw out. And you can look at the repercussions of these two major ways that the male and the female are conditioned. It's two opposing ways. You know, the man from an inward point of view and the woman from an outward point of view. And it leads to basically the woman, instead of developing her sense of worth and value internally as the male is taught to, uh, she's taught to evaluate and determine her value relative to how others perceive her, relative to the feedback she gets, the reaction she gets. She dresses up and follows all the advice that are in any typical female magazine and it doesn't work for her, then that doesn't mean that her strategy failed and there's room to improve. That means that she failed, that she isn't good enough and she's got to go back home and rewrite her script and her methodology so she can prove her worth next time. And girls take this shit very personally. Does my ass look big in this? Don't ever say no to that question. You would destroy her sense of worth. You hearing me? Because for a lot of women, and this is for the women that are more so really conditioned, a lot of women fall outside social conditioning in various degrees. But women that are, are seem to come off, and girls more so, young girls in their 20s and teens, that seem to come off the conveyor belt, like your typical prototype of what our society and our culture and the media and our government and the economy is trying to produce. Because really it's all about producing a certain kind of market so that we can then cater to that market with our various superficial products and keep the, keep the flow going, keep the cogs turning, keep the profits turning. So I think it's very deliberate why people are conditioned the way they are and 
in places like this, capitalistic places. And, you know, that's just part of the effect, that because a girl is taught to evaluate herself based on other people's perceptions from an outside perspective, that she naturally, inevitably, would be more inclined, dependent on her degree of conditioning, to be more fickle, to be more vain, to be more superficial, to be more dependent on outside interpretations, which change. And this is what fickle means. Fickle means to be inconsistent and to change your disposition and, you know, how you relate to things at the drop of a hat. You know, if a girl is keeping different company, naturally she will, the typically conditioned girl will change, you know, to satisfy the current audience. And that's how she's conditioned to be. Treated as an object and her value is determined by others. So she's got to play her cards right and differently depending on the audience. Not every girl is like this. People do fall out of this stereotype, but this is all just a generalization, you know? So you can't really blame the cliche female in this kind of place for being superficial, for being vain, and for always worrying about how she looks, and for not really acting from a place of values and a place of selfhood and belief, because she wasn't taught to like the man was. She wasn't raised from inside out, having all these things developed. She was raised from outside in. It's all about how she succeeds according to others. And one could say, and then I read a book I was on the, talking about the 60s, how everything was between man and women, that a woman was seen as like a second sex. That was the name of the book, the second sex. And her value and her function was determined back in those days according to the partner that she procured. You know, it wasn't until she attached herself to a man that she had any standpoint in society and that she was recognized with respect. So she was taught to develop her skills and her appeal so she, that she could procure a man of high status, of high class and caliber, and hence be validated as an individual and treated, you know, with appreciation and respect. Things have changed a lot since then, but not completely, and not in principle. Still in principle, I believe that women are conditioned to, and I'm not going to say how successful the conditioning is, but this is, this is all about how conditioning, how we are conditioning men and women to be, and girls and boys. Women are still conditioned to evaluate their worth based on how they pull in the man. You know, from, from, from when they're children up, look at all the adverts, about makeup and dolls, you know, do, do your own makeup on your doll and change all your outfits and you do, you get all these cut out pictures in kids magazines where you, you swap outfits around on bodies and you can make, you know, your own stylish little model or angel or whatever, fairy, princess, fucking mermaid, whatever's in. And it's all oriented around fashion, makeup, aesthetics, looking good. And this is from the, you know, day they're born, whereas boys are playing with cars, and then football, and it's, it's hands-on, and it's actually committing, and it's act, uh, b participating, and being active, and learning to build things, the idea of building, and driving, and doing, and then they're told about these, these values that they're going to need. You know, I think there's a lot more responsibility in that respect. You can have as two siblings, male and female, punishment probably reigns harder in general on the boy because more is expected of him in terms of internal values, being fair, you know, and disciplined. Whereas a girl, using the appeal and her coy looks and the baby blues or the puppy dog eyes, she can get away with a lot more. And that's what turns eventually into flirting that women still use when they grow up into adults um, and, you know, use their appeal in order to get away with a lot more because that's how they were taught to get by, not by being fair, just by being the fairest, you know what I'm saying? So men, it's now turning on to turning the page, it's kind of more obvious why men are so self-absorbed, because they were raised internally, it wasn't so much about what other people expected, I mean, yeah, that's always a part of it, but it's nowhere near as crucial as it is with the woman, having to always look good and prim and proper, and having correct etiquette, you know, they used to have etiquette classes for women, don't hear so much about etiquette classes for men. And etiquette is all about the way that you behave 
all, all about the ways that you're perceived from the outside and your mannerisms, the actual way that your form is moving. It's all about appearances. There's more classes for women and more shops that cater to females keeping up appearances than men. There's not, not, not as much emphasis on keeping up appearances with men, only in the way that they've got to be prosperous, one day, you know, secure financial freedom, or just you know, get by and be able to provide everything materialistically, uh, security, you know, and all of that. So, naturally, the man is uh, raised to focus more on himself and where he's at internally. And, you know, instead of his whole life looking from the outside in and being superficial and being vain and fickle and dependent on others and what's around me at the time, he was taught to be the anchor, you know, the stone, the, the pillar of strength. Something which stands there resisting all these forces and pushing his own way, you know, through the seas and keeping on board. He's taught to be the captain of the ship, whereas the girl is taught to be the damsel. Therefore, the man can, I think, have a tendency to be more inwardly focused, uh, self-absorbed, you know, because he's not used to always being in this mindset of thinking, how's everyone looking at me? Oh, I gotta check the mirror every second second. I mean, guys can be vain too, I'm not saying they're not. Everything I'm saying applies to both sexes. I'm just saying with conditioning, there are particular there's a particular emphasis put on the woman's outside etiquette and the man's inward capacities and abilities to provide certain things from the inside. And this naturally affects their disposition how they seem and yeah that's the basic idea if you have any uh, feedback any ideas to elaborate upon this feel free to share um, and remember to like and share this with your friends if it's interesting enough in your eyes and subscribe for more food or for your noodle with walking and talking with Phoenix and uh, yeah just wanted to say once more this is all a generalization there's always a gray area some men are more feminine, some women are more masculine, you know. Conditioning changes depending on the culture, on the family, specific, specific uh, circumstances and forces. There's so many variables. But this is, just, this is just looking at how the system, I think, is intending to condition people. They're trying to condition women to act outwardly so that they can cater to that market of aesthetics and they're teaching men to work inwardly which is why they rule the business domain and keep the businesses rolling keep the cogs turning and keep everything functioning because they're taught to do that provide everything maybe that the system needs whereas the women are the receivers men are the providers women are the receivers of all the benefits as much makeup as much lipstick as many outfits more than you could possibly need you know that the man can afford that's the general stereotypical idea, I think, of the kind of world the man is trying to create whilst keeping the man and the woman, the female and the male, opposing each other in a way that they can never connect. Because the man's always seeking to share that recognition, to be recognized internally, and to share that same feeling with somebody else who has those internal values. Whereas the woman, she's looking at things from a totally different perspective and looking for different things and it's more about her a lot of the time if she falls into the stereotype than it is about him or anyone else because that's the way things were conditioned to be thanks for watching guys and tune in for more food for your noodle see you around